okay, we're going to take it up a step, and now we're going to look at some equations where we have to do more than just one thing, more than just adding and subtracting to both sides, more than just dividing on both sides. So let's take a look at our first example. 3x minus 7 equals 11. Solving for x means getting x by itself on one side of the equation. And remember, whatever we do on one side, we have to do on the other side. We have to do everything on both sides. That's the key, keeping the equality there. So 3x minus 7, what I need to do is I need to move the 7. So I'm going to add 7 to both sides because adding it on the left makes it disappear. And that leaves me with 3x equals 18. Still solving for x, I have to undo the multiplication. I undo multiplication with division. So I will divide by 3. And whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. So I'll divide by 3 on the other side. And now the 3's cancel. x equals 18 divided by 3 is 6. So now we're going to check it to make sure that it's actually correct. So we're going to plug the 6 back into the equation and see what happens. So that would give me 3 times 6, I'm plugging 6 in for x, minus 7. 3 times 6 is 18. 18 minus 7 is in fact 11. And so it checks. We're good to go. Let's try another example. Here we have x plus 8 divided by 3 equals 10. So the first thing I need to do is undo this division of 3, and we undo division with multiplication, so I will multiply by 3. And whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do to the other side of the equation. So multiplying by 3 on the left-hand side, the 3 in the top will cancel with the 3 in the bottom, and I'm left with x plus 8 equals 30. Solving for x. I'm going to subtract 8 from the left-hand side, and so I also have to subtract 8 from the right-hand side, and that gives me x equals 22. Now we're going to check it, make sure that's right, so we're going to substitute the 22 in for the x, add 8 to it, and then we're going to divide by 3 and see what happens. 22 plus 8 is 30, 30 divided by 3 is 10, and so it checks, and we're good. Now, it's your turn. Here are four problems. I want you to solve them, solve for x, and you need to check them. Make sure your solutions are correct. If they're not, that's when you should go back and rework the problem and see if you can correct your mistakes.